A doctor helps us overcome our illness. He or she takes care of our health. In our series, Money Doctor, we help doctors overcome their money-related ailments. And joining me to do this, the Money Doctor is Gaurav Mashruwala, India's best-known certified financial planner. Thanks very much, Gaurav. We'll be taking a lot of questions with a lot of doctors. We already have one extremely enterprising young doctor here with us, Dr. Suhani. She's a dentist. So, Gaurav, let's try and understand from Dr. Suhani. Sure. I understand you have your own yes. uh, clinics already. Correct. And have you ever thought about money or are you always just busy yeah. getting people's teeth Of course, back uh, to uh, if you are running your own clinics, money is the first thing which you have to think about. A lot mm. of things which come straight from, you know, setting up the setup and then investing and managing all the equipments and everything. So money is mm. where the whole thing rotates around. So do you manage at all to invest? Of course, I do that. Mm. I make sure that fixed amount of sum I put in my savings and mm. when it accumulates to some extent, then I try doing some investments. And where do you invest? Fixed deposits, mutual funds, SIPs. One of the biggest concern with most doctors is that uh, given the nature of their job, the amount of time that they have is very limited. And of course, in case of someone like Sohani, perhaps a lot of her income gets redeployed back into her business. Do you think that she's on the right track? Here are a couple of things. When you're saving or investing, do you have specific responsibility or dream or what we call technically financial goal? Do you keep that in mind and take your investment decisions? I have two setups. So five years down the line, I see myself as closing down both of them and opening a better, bigger setup at a better location, of course, wherein I get good clientele also. So that's what my dream is and I'm trying hard to achieve that. How much would doing that cost you? A minimum setup in a normal location would cost me around 15 lakhs. 15 lakhs. Forget about the cost of the shop or forget about the cost of that area. You can take it on rent also. But only the uh, machinery, the tools, the instruments, what we have, the basic set I'm talking about, that will be 15 lakhs. If you, of course, upgrade yourself, if you have better tools, better machineries, then it can go approximately to 25 lakhs also. So it all depends what patients do you target. It all depends how much are you charging them. And uh, do you and your husband intend to keep working for the rest of your life? You want to be a dentist even when uh, you're 70? Or do you at some point think and talk no. about retirement? Of course I do. And that I do be... want to retire. And have you thought how you're going to plan for that? Still figuring out. Figuring it out. Okay. Well, and your house is your own. Yes. Now so there is no loan house. or anything that you have. Uh, that is a loan house only. You, you have, have an EMI burden, name. which Correct. is what you are paying every yes. month. Yes. And then you are also saving certain amount of yeah. money. So the plan of action is that after we finish out this home loan, we are planning to buy my own clinic because right now both the clinics are on rent. And what about uh, clinics? So clinics, so your fixed expense of True. clinic rent. Yes. plus the EMI. So yes. you own equipment? Yes, I do. Okay, so here is a suggestion that, that I would make is that rent is something which you can't ignore. Right? Now what you are doing is you are paying EMI on one end and you are also doing an SIP which is good but you may just want to go a little aggressive okay. and get off loan as soon as possible because the moment you get off loan mm. What will happen is you will take a bigger premises mm -hmm. which will get you on track of earning higher income even if it's later but that starting Makes of sense, that yeah. higher income will happen a little faster. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing this lump sum SIP or whatever, you may want to keep aside certain contingency Rather do fund. do the down payments. Right. So you, one is yes, you do keep aside certain contingency fund about three to four months reserve, ensure there's enough health and life insurance. And there's certain liquid investments so in case there's any turbulence in terms of career, you are ill or you need to move mm. back, you're, you're not in anxiety. I mean, there's something like mutual funds which you have or a little bit of FD, two, three months reserve, so you can take care. But the lump sum, long call investments that you are doing, don't do that. Pay off loan, mm. so faster you will move on to the second stage of your career. Mm. And that will kind of put your career more better on the track. Okay, so honey, yes. wish you all the very best. Thank you so and much. May you keep uh, giving painless relief yeah, sure. to a lot of people <laughs> as far as their teeth yes. are concerned. Thank you. An investor awareness initiative by SBI Mutual Fund. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.